course, as I have said since the beginning of time, there are mistakes that have hum- police officers are human beings. There are mistakes that happen. And the idea that now you're going to use this situation and all the usual suspects are already involved. We know that attorney Crump is already involved to then try to make black Americans believe that this happened simply because she was black is pointedly ridiculous. So I am saying to black Americans today, do not take this bait. Yes, what happened in this situation, I think he's going to have a very hard time, this officer, saying that he absolutely felt so threatened by boiling water that the only solution was for him to mindfully say, I'm going to shoot you in the face, and that's what he did. I think that that's that's going to be a very steep hill to climb. But the reaction from black America cannot be exactly what they want. There is a reason that whoever is in control of Joe Biden's account instantly tweeted about this, okay? It's because they think we're stupid. They think we're emotional. They think that we always respond illogically and emotionally, and that it's an easy way for them to shore up votes by saying, oh, look, forget that we've destroyed everything around you and that we got you to burn down your neighborhoods, um, you know, burn down your neighborhoods in 2020. And then obviously stole a bunch of money because none of that money actually went to making your neighborhoods better. And so now those communities are desolate. Forget all of that because look, look, another video. And this means racism is back and vote for us because we're going to show you how emotional we are. And that's exactly what Joe Biden did. He tweeted this on the heels. He wrote, Sonia Massey, a beloved mother, friend, daughter, and young black woman should be alive today. Sonia's death at the hands of a police officer reminds us that all too often black Americans face fears for their safety in ways many of the rest of us do not. Sonia's family deserves justice. I am heartbroken for her children and family as they face this unthinkable and sensible, senseless loss. Jill and I mourn with the rest of the country, and our prayers are with Sonia's families, loved ones, and community during this devastating time. Okay, again, going to say here, this happened in Springfield, Illinois, that the only reason whoever is in control of his account is putting that out there is because too many black Americans are turning toward Trump. They think too many black Americans are catching on to the Democrat scan. And so, scam, pardon. And so they scan every one of these situations and they leave out the hard facts. And the hard facts are that if you examine this just based on a percentage rate, white Americans unarmed are more likely to be shot and killed by police officers in mistakes, shot and killed by police officers in these correspondences than black Americans. That is a fact. It is an inescapable fact. There's no way to examine the statistics and not come out with that understanding. Okay. And they don't want you to know that. There's never been a time ever on his timeline where he has shared anything about a white person being killed unarmed by a police officer because it doesn't feed their narrative. So stand up to this, okay? And all you have to do is be mentally forthright. Do not fall for the scam. Do not run out of your house. Do not burn down your neighborhood in Springfield, Massachusetts. Instead, demand that Joe Biden make an appearance and let us know who has been in control of the White House all this time. Because that is what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be a red airing.